The PS5 has been moving along nicely, offering gamers plenty of top-notch titles across a wide variety of genres, with the co-op arena being well covered for those who enjoy gaming with others. Although the PS5 is not lacking in co-op games, many releases tend not to prioritize their stories. With that said, there are actually quite a few great co-op games that players can actually run on their PS5s and play with their friends locally or through the internet. While enthralling stories have never been the domain of these kinds of titles, it doesn't mean that good writing has never been successfully incorporated into a co-op game. What's going on everyone, Jeffrey here, welcome to Game Rant. In this video I'll be highlighting some of the very best PS5 co-op games that offer engaging gameplay combined with some truly wonderful stories to enjoy. So let's hop into the list. Number 9, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. Okay, it might be a stretch to describe Avatar Frontiers of Pandora's story as great, since it does play things very safe. That said, the game is a spot-on imitation of James Cameron's movies in this area, delivering a straightforward but sound narrative defined by epic action, alongside plenty of opportunities to take in the western frontier's natural beauty. The latter is undoubtedly Frontiers of Pandora's main selling point, since the open world is nothing short of gorgeous, along with being as expansive as any other modern Ubisoft project. Considering the gameplay is not far removed from Far Cry, the fact Frontiers of Pandora handles co-op similarly to that franchise really makes sense here. Avatar is generally presented as a single-player experience, but a guest can jump in at any moment and their progress will be saved for their campaigns. Although nothing too special, this system works well and helps extend the game's staying power. Number 8, Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights garnered a mixed reception at launch, and that is being kind. In truth, it was among 2022's most disappointing games, and its reputation has not started to mend. However, nowadays Gotham Knights is far easier to recommend, since it is frequently discounted and can be accessed through subscription services like PS Plus Extra. And for all the title's flaws, its story is actually quite good. Sure, Gotham Knights' plot does not reach the same heights as the Bat Family's greatest comic storylines, nor does it match Rocksteady's trilogy, but that doesn't mean it has no value at all. The playable characters share a camaraderie that feels real genuine, and they grow quite a bit throughout the entire campaign. The central mystery and story is consistently engaging and well-written, even if it can be predictable at times. Number 7, LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga the LEGO games are always reliable options when it comes to light-hearted co-op games, and the Skywalker Saga is a contender for the best in the franchise. Covering all nine main movies, the campaign is chock full of content, easter eggs, and plenty of unlockable characters. Die-hard Star Wars fans should get a kick out of seeing this humorous but still quite authentic adaptation. Conversely, people who are not that into the sci-fi property should still find something to enjoy in this gorgeous adventure. Star Wars The Skywalker Saga handles local co-op in largely the same way as all the other LEGO games, permitting friends to go along for the ride without impacting much of the story. Online co-op isn't supported, so this is just for those looking to take on the Empire from the comfort of a single couch. Number 6, Returnal. As part of the Ascension update, Returnal added co-op, permitting up to two players to combine forces. Only online co-op is supported, and the feature is activated once someone dies for the first time. After that point, that person will be able to host a public or private session from Celine's crash site. Alternatively, they can join a cycle. Co-op does not significantly change the Returnal experience, although the game's difficulty is ramped up to make up for the fact that there are now two Selines. A roguelike, Returnal follows a scout who lands on an alien planet and becomes stuck in a time loop. Delivering quite an emotional storyline that complements the premise and gameplay, Housemark's title is among the best PS5 co-op games on the market. Number 5, Chicory A Colorful Tale. Those who are looking for something a little more relaxing and charming should check out Chicory A Colorful Tale. It's a great and wholesome change of pace, putting players into a world that has seemingly lost its color and tasking them with literally painting things back to life. It's a joy to run through with a friend and the story is heartwarming to say the very least. This is the perfect thing to pop in for a relaxing night on the couch together. It's a great little indie style hidden gem among the bigger co-op offerings. Number 4, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Gearbox's Borderlands has been delivering fun co-op first-person shooter mayhem for over a decade now, and all the entries are a blast in their own right. The first entry to debut directly on the PS5, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is a spin-off that builds upon the ideas of Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep, a Borderlands 2 DLC. Set within the world of a tabletop game, players create a character and then go on a comical adventure to stop the Dragon Lord. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands has awesome gunplay, comfortably actually the best in the series so far with a bunch of magic as well. 
The story does not take itself at all seriously, and while the humor is hit and miss, like I guess a lot of the other Borderlands games, the spin-off is more consistently charming than some of the franchise's recent main entries. The overall narrative is rather forgettable, but the minute-to-minute -minute writing is generally solid, and this is an easy recommendation for fans of Borderlands, or really anyone looking for a light-hearted FPS set in a fantastical and mythical universe. Number 3, Baldur's Gate 3. Roughly a month after coming out on PC, Baldur's Gate 3 made its way to the PS5, and Larian's project survived the transition in one piece. Based on Dungeons & Dragons, the RPG delivers in nearly every area, be it combat, customization, storytelling, or co-op support. The latter highlights Baldur Gate 3's tabletop origins, since players can actually set up a co-op campaign save file that they revisit as a group. Obviously, this can be quite a commitment, so the game also offers new players the chance to join existing playthroughs. Set in a vast and complex world, Larian created a deep RPG that emphasizes player choice, particularly in its secondary content. The turn-based combat system can be initially overwhelming if someone is not familiar with the studio's previous releases, but it is rewarding in the long run. In co-op, players are allowed and even encouraged to do their own thing and decide when they want to come together. Number 2. The Quarry If horror is a group's genre of choice, then they cannot really go wrong when it comes to supermassive games. The developer has carved out a niche for itself in the co-op interactive drama horror market, with Until Dawn and the Dark Pictures Anthology chapters all being dependable picks. 2022's The Quarry serves as another feature in the studio's cap, and it supports up to 8 players in both local and online co-op. An ode to 1980s slashers, The Quarry wears its inspiration on its sleeve. As tends to be the case with these sorts of stories, the game finds a group of teenagers heading out to the eponymous location with plans to spend the night. Things, of course, quickly go wrong, and one of them might be responsible for the mayhem. Depending on how many people are playing the game, The Quarry could just assign a single character to every player, which will force everyone to decide whether they will prioritize self-preservation over what is good for the collective. Number 1. It Takes Two Developed by Hazelight Studios, a company whose primary focus is co-op experiences, It Takes Two is a deeply emotional story of a little girl coping with her parents' divorce by playing with handmade rag dolls that happen to resemble her mom and dad. The girls' tears falling on the dolls trap her parents' souls inside the toys, and they become the two playable characters. Players will have to travel through magical realms that are a reflection of the parents' positive memories of one another. By solving environmental puzzles and completing platforming challenges, they attempt to mend their broken relationship and get back into their own bodies. From the gameplay perspective, it's a fun, challenging platformer that relies heavily on cooperation between players. However, it is its creative, unique narrative that really makes this game a truly essential title to play on the PS5. And there we have it everyone, 9 of the very best PS5 co-op games that feature great stories to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching this video from Game Rant. Be sure to check out all sorts of other top-notch gaming content, including more lists, news, reviews, guides, originals, and so much more right here on Game Rant. Have a truly wonderful and happy day, everyone. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.